Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I will teach you how to work out a Scala product. Of course, there's a PDF file versions on the description below for you to download so you can work with me. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. Let's say we have two vectors. Let's say vector A is equal to x1, y1. And vector B is equal to x2, y2. So vector A dot vector B. So that is x1, y1 dot x2, y2. To work out the dot product. So what we do for the I component. So we just multiply them together. So that is x1 times x2. And we add the product of the J component. Okay. So that is y1 times y2. So this is the rule how to work out a dot product. So first example. So we want to work out vector u dot vector v. So that is equal to, we just go 1, 2, dot, 4, 3. So we just multiply the i component. So that is 1 times 4 is 4. And we add the products of the j component. So that is 2 times 3 is 6. So add together, that give me 10. So u dot v will give me a scalar. So that's why we call scalar product, okay? Second example. So to work out the um, vector u dot vector v, so first of all, we just need to evaluate the um, both of the vectors first, okay? So cos of 45 is root 2. So therefore, 4 cos of 45 degrees is 4 times 1 over root 2. So that is equal to 4 over root 2. So if I rationalize this, so that means I times root 2 times root 2. So the answer is 4 root 2 over 2. I cancel that, so that gives me 2. So the answer is 2 square root of 2. And for negative, 6 sine of 45. So sine of 45 is equal to 1 over root 2. So that means negative 6 times 1 over root 2. So I just times this by root 2. I times this by root 2. So that will give me negative 6 root 2 over 2. So that cancel out. That give me 3. So the answer for this is negative 3 square root of 2. Now to work out the uh, vector V. So we have negative 2 cos of 30. So cos of 30 is equal to root 3 over 2. So negative 2 times root 3 over 2. So you cancel this one out. So that give me negative root 3. Now for psi of 30 degrees. Psi of 30 degrees is a half. So 4 times a half. So that cancel out. So that give me 2. So 2 times 1 is 2. So therefore the answer is 2. So therefore this is the vector u and vector v. So now to work out vector u dot vector v. So this is equal to 2 root 2. Negative 3 square root of 2. And we dot negative root 3, 2. Now we just times the i component together. So 2 root 2 times root 3. So that give me negative root 6. Now we just times the j component together and we add them up. So negative 3 root 2 times 2. So that becomes negative 6 root 2. So we just go minus 6 square root of 2. There you go. Please pause the video. And try this one yourself. Hi, I'm back. How do you go? 
So let me go through them with you, okay? Before I do that, please do not forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can help me to grow my channel. So let's get into it. So u dot v, so that will give me 5, negative 3, dot negative 2, negative 6. So that will give me, so which is times the i components together. So 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. And we add negative 3 times negative 6. So 3 times 6 is 18. So we just add 18. So that will give me 8. So there you go. Part B. So first of all, let me just evaluate vector u and v first. So for vector v, so 2 cos of 120 degrees. So we know that 120 degrees is in this quadrant. So 120. So therefore, the reference angle here is 60 degrees. So therefore, 2 cos of 20 is exactly the same as negative 2 cos of 60 degrees. Because in the second quadrant, cos is negative. So for side of 120 degree is positive. So therefore, this is equal to 8 side of 60 degrees. But then I can evaluate further. So cos of 60 degrees is a half. So therefore, okay, negative 2 times a half will give me negative 1. So that is negative 1. Now for a side of 60 degrees, so a side 60 degrees, so that become 8 times side of 60 degrees is root 3 over 2. So I simplify this, that give me 4. So therefore, 4 root 3, okay? So 4 square root of 3. Now let's work our vector V. So negative 2 cos of 330 degrees is from here to here 330. So therefore, the reference angle is here is 30 degrees. So negative 2 cos of 330 degrees is exactly the same as negative 2 cos of 30 degrees. Because in this quadrant, cos of 330 degrees is positive. So now this becomes negative 2 times cos of 30 is root 3 over 2. So cancel out. So that will give me negative root 3. Then negative 6 side of 330. So negative 6 side of 330 degrees. So side of 330 degrees is equal to negative side of 30, okay? Because in this quadrant, side is negative. So become negative 6 times by negative side of 30, if you like. So that becomes 6 side of 30. But side of 30 is a half. So therefore, this will give me 6 times a half. So that gives me 3. So therefore, this is negative root 3 and 3. Now we can find u dot v. So vector u dot vector v is equal to negative 1, 4 root 3 dot negative root 3, 3. Now which is times the i component together. So negative 1 times root 3 will give me root 3. And we add the products of the j component. So that means 4 root 3 times 3 is 12 root 3. So it's just plus 12 square root of 3. Now we just add them up. So that becomes 13 square root of 3. So there you go. I hope you got all of them correct. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.